Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So those of you that are in our group, UK Cricket Creators, you don't need to be in the UK, you just need to love your cricket or want to get into cricket. Know that we do free virtual events every month and one of those virtual events is always a Dreaming Tree project. I don't show you how to put it together in these videos, Leo does great videos for that. But for every Dreaming Tree event, we want everything pre-cut before the event so that we are just putting it together. So today I'm going to take you through how you get the mushroom house ready for our event next week. So we are doing Daisy's Mushroom House and it comes as a separate SVG or you can get it in a bundle. And don't forget, if you spend over $9.99 on Dreaming Tree, they always have a free monthly bundle that you can get as well. So don't forget that. I've actually got the bundle, so I'm going to select that. And it's Daisy's Mushroom House that we're using. So I'm going to add it to my cart, pay for it and download it. Once I've downloaded it, you'll see, or you should see, the download at the bottom of your computer screen. There's three dots, we're going to select those. And I always select Show in Folder. We can open it up and continue to select the folders. And we're doing Daisy's Mushroom House. And we want the SVG. Now there are two types of SVG with this one. There is these ones here, which are the perforated score lines, which I always keep as cuts. And then in the extras, there's actually the solid score lines. Now usually, I say to use the perforated ones. If you are going to cut this using 12 by 12 cardstock, then I recommend using the perforated cut lines because they are fantastic. Yes, it takes longer to cut the items out, but you get a much cleaner and sharper fold. However, if you are going to turn this into A4 cut, which is what I'm going to show you now, use the solid score lines. There is a lot of amending to do to this if you're going to turn it into A4 suitable. So I recommend if you're going to do this in A4 sheets that you use the solid score lines. So I'm going to open those up and I'm going to hold down my shift keys to select all of them. And I'm then going to just drag them across to my pictures. And it's just so that I can find them easily. If we open up Design Space, we can go to Upload Image, Browse, and I'm going to get the first file and select Open. It's going to bring it in as an SVG. I like to keep the image names because I do find that this Dreaming Tree make them um, quite descriptive so you know what each of your layers is and also give it a tag as well and then upload. And I'm going to do that for each and every single one of those file pieces. I need to select view all uploads to be able to see them all and I'm then going to start selecting them so that I can insert them to my canvas. Now as I say, if you're going to do this in 12 by 12 you can use either the perforated cut lines, in which case you just leave everything as it is but make sure that you attach those perforated lines to each of the base pieces. If you're going to change it to A4, then you really want to use the solid score lines. It's just so much easier to do it with the solid ones with this because there's just so many of those perforated lines. So I'm just going to zoom out so we can see better what's going on. So I've got my vellum here and it doesn't matter if you don't have coloured vellum because we are going to actually colour it on the day. 
These are set to A4, so I don't need to do anything with them. I'm just going to move them out of the way. I've then got my pattern panel pieces. So it tells you that you're going to want a pattern for this. And if you don't want to pattern, it's fine. And of course, you can do your own color combo for these. But these are the pattern pieces that you see at the front of the house. We've got some green pattern panels. Now, they are slightly larger than A4. So we are going to have to amend those. We've got our brown pattern pieces. We don't need to do anything with those. Those are set to A4. We've got our little doors and windows. Now, the only thing with these is, as you can see, the solid score lines are currently set to cut. So what we need to do is select the layer and then just click on the actual score lines. And we're going to change them from a cut to a score. And of course, now everything's under draw. So it's draw and score, whereas before it's line type and score. So we're going to change that one and this one as well. All we're going to do is make sure the entire layer is selected. So the scores and the cardstock, and we're then going to attach. And it's super important no matter whether you're working with solid score lines and you turn them to from a cut to a score or you're working with the perforated cut lines and you keep them as a cut, you will still need to attach them. Same with our little grass pieces. We can see that the score lines are set to cut. So we're going to change them because they're a solid score line to score and then click on the whole layer and attach. And these are our little window shutters and we don't need to do anything for those. So these are some of the panels for our house and you can see that this is set to a 12 by 12 cardstock sheet. If we want to make it A4, all we're going to do is duplicate it. So we've got two of them. And we'll work with this one first. We want to select the cardstock cut and we're going to go to our contour and we're just going to contour away that bottom layer pieces and of course the actual cutouts as well. So that when we close our contour down, we've removed those pieces of cardstock. The same with those score lines. We're going to select the first lot of score lines and go to contour. And if we scroll down, we can start removing those scores. And we can then close this down. And we've removed those. We can then select the next one, go to our contour and remove those three bottom lines. All we then want to do is draw around and attach those together. Same with this one. If we select the actual cardstock cut and we go to contour, this time we're going to contour away those top cuts and again don't forget to contour away the middle of your cuts as well. Close it down. We can select the lines and go to contour. Contour the top lines away. and then contour our little markings away as well. And then all we need to do is attach those. So those panels are now done and we can move them out the way. And remember, this is only if you want to change it so that you can cut in A4 instead of 12 by 12. 
Same with these ones, I'm going to duplicate them. And with the duplicate, I'm going to go to contour and just contour away those two bottom pieces. And with this one, I'm going to contour away the top pieces. And that's them then done. And these are a pattern piece. And you can see they're a pattern piece because it tells you. So again, this is currently set to 12 by 12. We want to make it A4 if we're going to cut in A4. So exactly the same. We are going to duplicate it. On the duplicate, I'm going to select the card cut and go to contour. And I'm going to contour away that hexagon. And then I can remove the score pieces from the hexagon as well. That leaves me with those. I do need to change them to a score, which I didn't do with my green. So I'm going to change the lines to a score. And then this one a score as well. And I'm then going to attach them. And with my green pieces that we just did, I need to change those to scores as well. And I recommend changing them to scores after you've done all your contouring. So with this one, I'm going to select the cardstock, go to contour and contour out this piece down here. And then the scores, this one's nice and easy because they're separate, if I ungroup it, I can just delete all of those score pieces there and then I only need to remove these ones. So if I then go to contour, I can just remove these tiny little pieces here and down here. I'm then going to change those from a cut to a score. and then attach them together. And everything in gold is like the base of my mushroom. So it's the base structure. Same with this one. It's currently set to 12 by 12. I want to make it A4. So I'm going to duplicate it. With the duplicate, I'm going to select the card cut and go to contour. I'm simply going to hide all contours, bring back my hexagon and then remove that top contour. And because the score lines are not on that hexagon, if I ungroup them, I can simply delete those and then move my hexagon across. With this one, I'm going to select the card, go to contour, contour away the hexagon, change my score lines from cuts to scores, And I can then attach them together because that is now A4. Again, with this one, it's set to 12 by 12. So if I duplicate it with this one, I'm going to get the card and go to contour. And I'm going to contour away that top hexagon. If I click on the score, I'm going to go to contour and I can again just contour away those hexagon score lines and then I'm just going to change those cuts to a score.
and then draw around and attach those together. I can then get my duplicate on my cardstock. I'm going to go to contour and contour away those bottom pieces because I don't need them because I've already done them. And then on the score lines, I can get rid of these two small ones here. I don't need them, so I'm just going to delete them. And then with these ones, I can open up my contour. I'm actually going to hide all contours because then I can just bring back the hexagon and remove that top contour, which will always be there until you bring something back to remove the rest of those easily. Change that cut to a score. Highlight and attach. Again, we want to change this to A4 if we're going to cut in A4, so I'm going to duplicate it. With that first one, I'm going to select the card cut and go to contour. We can contour away that big hexagon. Change the score lines or the cut lines to score. And the same on those ones there. And then simply draw around and attach and then with this one select the card go to contour contour away that small hexagon and that bottom cut and of course all the inside cuts as well I can select the cut lines which are score lines and delete those because they're not on that hexagon piece and then that's that done and our last piece we are not going to be able to reduce this so you might just be able to squeeze it onto A4 if you can position it correctly on your mat but I personally would do it in a 12 by 12 cardstock sheet you're only going to need the one and all I'm going to do is change those cut lines to score lines and then attach them together so apart from this one here the rest of them we've changed to A4 so everything that is gold is the base structure of your house. So it's your base structure. So whatever color you want the base structure of your house to be is what is gold here. And I would recommend changing the colors, which is easily done by just selecting the layer and changing the color up here. We've then got our windows and doors, so you can cut those out in the colour you want. These are our window shutters, so again, you can cut those in the colour you want. And we've got our little grass pieces. We've got the orange panels, so if we look at the picture, we can see the orange panels there and the brown panels, so the orange pattern and the brown pattern. So that's those two pieces there. We've got our two green pattern pieces. Again, if we look at our mushroom house, that's down here at the bottom of our mushroom. Those are our green pattern pieces. So again, you could do those in whatever color you want. We've got solid green panels. And then we've got our vellum as well. And as I say with our vellum, if you've only got white vellum, don't worry, we can color it. 
So if you're going to cut this in 12 by 12 cardstock, you can use either the solid score lines or you can use the perforated cut lines. All you need to do is change the solid cut lines to scores and attach them together. And if you're going to use the perforated lines, you just need to attach those together. If you're going to cut this in A4, then you want to use the solid score lines as we've done. You're going to separate everything you need to separate. Make sure that you turn those cut lines to score lines and attach everything. If anyone's stuck or needs any help, you can obviously send us a message. Uh, but apart from that, we will see you at the event with everything cut out and ready to go. As always, I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.